I wish to make two points with this video. One, that nothing in human history compares with the momentous truth that God, the creator of the universe, saw fit to reveal himself through the life and the teachings of his miraculously conceived son, Jesus. And two, that mankind has almost from the time that Jesus arrived on that first Christmas, with very few exceptions, rejected the message that he came to deliver. It started with the Jewish religious leaders, but it did not stop there. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John's Gospel starts by telling us that Jesus is the Word of God. This amazing Word of God, Jesus, was present at the creation of the world. He was with God and He was God. He is none other than the Creator of the universe, revealed in human form. This Word or Voice of God came to Earth 2,000 years ago to instruct us about why we were put here on this planet. What an incredible and powerful revelation to the human race. The reason for our existence explained. The way to eternal life revealed in human flesh. If only, if only we had listened to him. I am come down from heaven to do the will of him who sent me. This is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who believes in me may have eternal life. Everyone in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. I know where I came from and where I am going. You don't know where I came from and where I am going. My judgment is true because I am not alone. I am with the Father who sent me. My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. I speak to the world those things that I have heard from him. No one knows the Father except the Son. We speak what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. And you do not receive our witness. No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, even the Son of Man who is in heaven. As the Father raises the dead, the Son gives life to whomever he chooses. The Father committed judgment to the Son. My judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will. Everyone who has learned from the Father comes to me. Jesus insisted that the ultimate test of anyone's sincerity will be how they react to him and what he taught. It is the standard by which to judge the hearts of each of us. If you abide in my words, then you are really my disciples. You, you will seek me and you will die in your sin. Where I go you cannot come. I am from above. You are of this world. Therefore I said you will die in your sins. If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. If God were your father, you would love me. You are of your father the devil. He is a liar and the father of lies. If I say I do not know God, I shall be a liar like you, you brood of vipers. You hypocrites, you shut up the kingdom of heaven, for you neither go in yourself nor do you allow others to go in. You devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. You travel land and sea to win one convert, and when he is one, you make him twice the child of hell that you yourself are. You hypocrites, you give ten percent even of the spices in your gardens to the church, but you have overlooked the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. You blind guides who strain out a gnat and then swallow a camel. You are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed are beautiful outwardly, but inside they are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Even so you also appear outwardly to be righteous, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. I have sent you prophets, some of them you have killed, and some of them you will beat in your synagogues and persecute from town to town. 
Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the ones who kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to her, how often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate. For I say to you, you shall see me no more until you can say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Inasmuch as you did it not unto the least of these, my brothers, you did it not unto me. You're not judged on the basis or the merit of your works, on what you did or didn't do. I received my prosperity based on his obedience. I believe in his obedience and not mine. That's good, man. Because if you spend your life trying to be obedient enough, how obedient do you have to be in order to, to get the blessing? How obedient are you going to have to do in order to be healed? How much obedience do you think it's going to take you in order to be able to get a promotion? How much obedience is it going to take you in order to be able to get that wife that you wanted and prayed for? Get that husband? How, how much? How much obedience is it going to cost in order for you to go to heaven? No. If you love the Lord, He will cause you to prosper. So righteousness places you in line, legally in line, for prosperity. Father, in Jesus' name, I believe double blessings will come my way. Double favor will come my way. Do it now. Phone now and give your gift of $1,500 or $100 for souls. If we're going to live this life the way we're designed to be victorious, you're going to have to get to the place where you are absolutely done with being defeated. It was not just the Pharisees that Jesus rebuked. He predicted that even those who claim to have accepted him, those who call him Lord, those who praise him week after week, would fall away and reject him while still claiming to be his followers. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way. So, let them both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers, First, gather together the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. If anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Many will come in my name, and will deceive many. These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Many are called, but few are chosen. He who is of God hears God's words. You do not hear, because you are not of God. Many will say, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, of him also shall I be ashamed when I come in the glory of my Father with the holy angels. The Father has testified of me, but you've never heard his voice at any time. Search the scriptures because they testify of me. But you will not come to me that you may have life. How can you believe, you who receive honor from one another? If you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote about me. The words that I have spoken will judge you in the last day. This may not be the meek and mild, respectable Jesus that you have put your faith in in the past, but he is the real Jesus, the Jesus of the Bible, the one who has been shoved to one side in order to preach respectability, patriotism, popularity, and orthodoxy. There is, of course, much more that Jesus said, which I will include in future videos, 
so that you can have a better idea of exactly what it is that the world has rejected in order to maintain the religious status quo. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can be informed as more of these videos are produced, showing what Jesus actually taught and how it can change the world. Thank you. Met this lady, she was talking crazy, saying that the Muslims in the West were shady. She says they hate me, they're waiting patiently for the right day and place to annihilate me. I said, lady, my faith be placed in God's grace to forgive all those who hate me. And if God could save me, then maybe He could save them, regardless what their faith or race be. But then she baits me with questions. Are you a Christian? Do you believe in the resurrection? Are you born again and may hope from sickness? Are you more man or Jehovah's Witness? And do you Speaking tongues, what about church? Do you go on the right day of the week to one? Do you please the blood and pay your tithes? And was it in the right name? True, but what about tithes? And what about Christ and his divinity? Isn't he second person of the Trinity? He lives in me, does he live in you? Oh, don't tell me you're a Catholic or a Hindu. Cause they bow down the knees to idols. But I pray every day and then read my Bible. And I won't accept you as being Christ's disciple. Unless you believe every single thing that I do. Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they create is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they create is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion Do you see a prophet? Maybe not, but I'll show you prophecy coming in hot like sliced bread and people just want to eat and eat. So, what are the prophets? Tell me, please. The ones yelling, stop it from the top of their lungs. Don't take the mark, but we'll start some hand chopping. Yeah, you bow when it comes to talking. Don't need a smack in the face to get your jaw dropping. I just taped up my cross and started walking because the teachings of Jesus is radical. I'll take you out of religious bigotry and put you up in a new school. Now, listen to Jesus teach us some new rules. The Good Samaritan witness again. Against you. He was a Christian, Hindu, a Muslim, or a Jew But what's important, he loved like Jesus told us to So why you throwing stones at me, I'm just telling the truth No seminary degrees, religious credentials, rituals To make you think well of me Just trying to love unconditionally Thought that's what you preach, or is that only for people with whom you agree So don't tempt me Pull out the big gun, push John 4 Who's born of God? Anyone who loves Try to despise one of these little ones Get a stone tied around your neck and dropped in the ocean now, Take your loose ways and pack them up you need to be born again and again by the teaching of Jesus Cause in the end we all get judged The same as we judge others, yeah this is serious Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they breed is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they breed is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion what do you really believe? Could it be you've been deceived? You go to church and never learn anything but hypocrisy. Have you been spending your time preaching religion instead of speaking about the teachings of Jesus? You can't put God in a box, so let us follow wherever the Holy Spirit leads us. Denominationalism is a prison where you refuse to listen to criticism. Do you know what it means to be a Christian? This is nothing like what the church has shown on television. So here's a mission to help you understand God's plan for man's spiritual condition. Put God first and trust in His provision. What's your decision? Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they breed is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions All they breed is division We need a vision to follow God, not a religion Don't be deceived by religion Competitions between baptisms and circumcisions